skincare, and always take it off before bed. Practice. Keep practicing. Remember that your face is different from everyone else's, so what one person swears by, or says as a rule, may not work for you. This applies to techniques, products, everything. Take the bits that work for you, and that you like, and practice, experiment, have fun. And don't go straight for the trendy expensive shit. Just because everyone on YouTube is talking about it this week doesn't actually mean it's worth blowing half your pay on it. Best comment. Play around until you find what works for you. Good skin slash prep beforehand. I'm glad this is top comment. I stopped wearing MacUp years ago but still keep up a skin care regimen to keep my skin healthy and soft, and it makes me feel confident even without MacUp. Check yourself in different lighting. This, especially if you're going out in the sun, indoor lighting and mirror doesn't depict the floors slash unblended regions you'd be able to see in the sun. Don't overdo your MacUp to make it look like the Instagram MacUp influencers, they have their camera lighting, and you have reality lighting. Such great advice. The MacUp looks good on camera, but horrible in person, almost like stage MacUp. People have mentioned damp Q-tips, but specifically, micellar water-dipped Q-tips are the perfect tool for getting a super sharp line on eyeliner, fixing eyeshadow smudges, etc. Also, putting a liquid highlighter on the high points of your face, egg, cheekbones, nose bridge, and then applying blush, after is a great way to have a supernatural dewy blush. Can't wait to try this. If you get mascara on your eyelid, wait a minute for it to dry instead of wiping it immediately and smearing it around. Use a q-tip or a clean eyeshadow brush. I use a spoolie, works great too. Damp q-tips to fix liquid eyeliner when you mess up. That's the entire secret to how I do crazy winged liner lol. I had no idea just making them damp works, I always add a little bit of I'm a cube remover to my q-tip. Tight lining the upper lashes before mascara, absolute game changer, and makes your lashes look so much thicker. Yes, but be careful with tight lining too frequently. It can lead to clogged oil ducts in your eyes and permanent dry eye as you get older. Blend blend blend. It can really make all the difference. You can buy the best MacUp, best brushes, have the best mirror, but if you don't blend your product out well it will not look good. When I blend, everything just ends up looking muddy. For example, when I use three distinct eyeshadows, it ends up looking like one. Any tips for that? Good skincare first. MacUp second. I noticed an immediate difference when I started using skincare products and how my foundation looks. Great advice. Asterisk FORME asterisk less is more. I use it to enhance my features not do a whole full face. Yes, honestly a bit of eyeshadow and properly done eyeliner goes a long way, and with a good skin care routine, foundation isn't all that needed, and is honestly way more uncomfortable to have on all day than just embracing the natural imperfections in your skin. Some days your MacUp is just gonna look janky, the only way to get good is to practice, and that means accepting that you'll make mistakes. You will be your harshest critic too so don't let fear get in your way. Don't be afraid to try unconventional colors either. Some want to say that certain colors don't look good on certain people but again, it's all just about finding the right technique and combinations any color can look good with enough practice and experience. Along with this, I'd advise people of all skill levels to take pictures of their MacUp, read, face, regularly, even when it doesn't look great. Being able to look at past attempts with fresh eyes can help you develop an eye for what works and doesn't, like colors or techniques. And experiment when you have nowhere to go, that way there's no pressure or time constraints. I don't wear MacUp very often, but one thing that it took me years to figure out was why my waterproof mascara always ran. It dawned on me one day, I have oily skin, and oil is used to remove MacUp. Once I switched to non-waterproof mascara, no more running or smudging throughout the day. I had the exact same issue, and switched to non-waterproof, just because I liked the style of brush, and have had much better success with it. Didn't even click why until now, so your comment was a total light bulb moment. Thanks. 
Put sunscreen, non-oily, on and let it rest a few minutes, then put on your Macute primer. Any good sunscreen recommendations? I have fair sensitive skin, and feel like I'm running out of options. I get compliments on how thin slash identical I can get my liner wings and I always say make it super thick and messy at first then just come in with a q-tip and clean it up slash shape it. I did body painting professionally for a while and honestly, the most important tools are damp q-tips. Always take off your mac -oop before you go to bed. Don't zoom in too much, keep looking at yourself from a distance to ensure things are even or not overdone. The goal is to achieve an effect and a balance not create a perfect line slash shape. Your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I think of this every time I'm using an eyebrow pencil. Mine are more like distant cousins. Please for the love of everything take your macoop off before bed. I cannot stress how many of my teenage years I spent just retouching my macoop each morning when in reality I was destroying my skin. That and good skin care beforehand. Question. How does it destroy your skin? Like if you're wearing it all day are you destroying your skin? Make sure you are using your proper shade of foundation. Also make sure you use makeup according to skin type. Oily, normal, dry. Most of all trial and error. Your skin changes just gotta go with the flow. Prime your fucking eyes. Skin current hydration before Macube is the only trick really. When I put fake lashes on I cut them in half. For me it makes it easier to apply. Just because it suits you in your 20s, does not mean it will suit you in your 30s or 40s. Know your skin type. If you have dry skin, and you wear a matte foundation, you're not going to have a good time. What works for others might not work for you do how much you want, do what you want, and rock it.